Good morning, 243 Radio Free KJLA. And of course, I'm so proud of this guy. I really am. My uh, special studio guest uh, this hour, of course, Mr. Jonathan McReynolds. What up, man? How What's you doing? Oh, baby. I'm good. I'm good. And, and we were talking about the, um, how did you pull off the residency at the legendary Troubadour? Man, I have about? no idea. It's the <laughs> favor of God, man. <laughs> favor from Los it's Angeles. The favor of God. Yep, that's right. Yep. I just appreciate it. It's going to be hot, man. That's right. That's right. Uh, Jonathan. Jonathan McReynolds coming from Chicago, raised by a single mom, and the rest is history. Of course, Jonathan McReynolds, we're going to be talking about his residence, residency, and of course, the legend at the uh, legendary Troubadour. A lot of people listening right now, Jonathan, they they know who Jonathan McReynolds is, yeah. but there are some who don't know who Jonathan McReynolds is. Mm-hmm. So who is Jonathan McReynolds in man, your definition? I'm a, a 30 year old uh, gospel artist, man. We've been making music and uh, doing it our way. Uh, it's not the traditional gospel sound maybe all the time, but <laughs> right, right. You, know, uh, you know, we're approaching it, you know, understanding we're humans first yeah. and addressing it with our faith, man. So y'all gotta check it out. Cycles, no great pressure. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky, all that stuff. Go check it out, man. And make sure you show up uh, this Sunday now at the Troubadour. Yeah, coming up uh, January 12th. We've got tickets for that. Uh, if you just joined us, my special and studio guest, Mr. Jonathan McReynolds, getting ready to kick off his resi- residency at the legendary Troubadour. Now, the first time I heard your music, I connected with it. It, was, uh, it, it. it wasn't anything over the top, but just a raw, clean, organic sound. Now, my question is, was that supposed to happen? That's the only way I know how to do <laughs> it, man. That That's all I know. Was that yeah. supposed to feel like that? Yeah, man, I appreciate that, man. It's just, uh, you know, I guess I grew up in, in church where, you know, sometimes yeah. things can have a big bang with everything. Right, Everything's right, an explosion. Right, right. Uh, but sometimes that still voice underneath is what yeah. makes it really uh, penetrate the heart, man. Yeah, how, how, inf- how important is your faith to you? Oh, it's everything, man. Yeah. Everything else has to fit around it. It doesn't yeah. fit into my life my life has to fit into it man and so i'm just really blessed you know how god is uh you know kind of taking me into different places man i don't think the troubadour has ever seen uh all, all, no. these, <laughs> all these black believers that are about to show up there i don't know if they ever, i don't know if they know what they in for but it's gonna be extra amazing man it's we've been be rehearsing wonderful. this week and yeah. uh, it's gonna be dope and we're gonna do it three times three different shows i'm gonna have some of my friends come through yeah. i know a whole bunch of folks out here yeah. that's gonna show up we're gonna have a good time. How exciting is it to have a residency at the Troubadour and how much work goes into the planning? Because you just don't show up and play. I mean, you know, if you want to. <laughs> but, uh, no, Say man. If we, you want to. If you want to. Right. But, no, man, yeah. I'm excited, man. We've been working. We've been, uh, you know, practicing. We did some auditions out yeah, here. Because yeah. I want to use L.A. folks, man. Yeah, right, I, you right, know, right, I'm, yeah. I'm new to this whole area, you know. So yeah. I just want to see what was out here. Incredible talent. So mm-hmm. we're going to be using uh, some Angelino talent. And, mm-hmm. you know, I'm really excited, man. It's going to be dope. You do a lot of your writing. You're going to be doing a lot of producing for this show, a lot of writing for this show. How do you get the material? together for it. Well, you know, we got already, we have three and a half albums worth of songs oh, that, yeah, that's that right. people get really upset if I don't sing. Oh, yeah. And oh, they yeah. get, you know, so, plus we're going to share some new music. I got a new record coming out this yeah. year. Oh, cool. And so we're cool. going to just, you know, throw some of that in as well so yeah. you can get a sneak peek, an early sneak peek. Yeah. Well, you're a young guy, so a few years ago, I won't say many years ago. But back in the day. <laughs> yeah, back in the day. No, just a few years ago. I met you uh, right after the, uh, the Way You Love Me uh, was Which really yeah. And the first time I heard that song, I said to myself, man, this is this is real cool. This is this is different. Thank you. Yeah. So uh, we've got Jonathan McReynolds in the studio. We're going to be talking about his residency at the Troubadour. And uh, this is the song I'm talking about right here. The Way That You Love Me. I've seen rain. It's been dark. I've felt pain. Got these scars.